right, welcome to This Week in Pro Wrestling. Jimmy, we finally brought the show back. What do you think, pal? I think I think we're back. If you can hear me, can you hear me? I can hear you. All is wow, well. we're back. How do you like them apples? That's amazing, right? Oh, very interesting. Oh, Mike, I wanted to ask, can I make the banner for This Week in Wrestling? Can I? Can I? Hmm? <laughs> I thought you were going to start this one. <laughs> I'm not starting. What are you talking I'm not you starting never, at all. You know, you, you give me a tongue lashing during the afternoon. I did not. You lay I into me, and then here you go. <laughs> let me tell you something about let me tell you something about your dark dingy channel Mr. Monty if I may you know Please do. I was just as, I was just talking to the bots uh that that we acquire on a daily basis and uh they have a message for Frankenstein fathead fuck you all right okay, go ahead listen now okay we're supposed to be doing this week at pro wrestling but if we're, we you were. Know, we're going to the main show at nine right yeah so we, we, hey. we got to stick on that one but now what I'm you're really gonna... hoping good what I'm really hoping is is you and I can still stay in touch Mike <laughs> that's all right listen let's uh, look you just took the elephant it was supposed to be yeah. out of the room and you brought yeah, it I into did. the room so let's I've just have the dis- but uh, I've had a bad day and it's okay right, I, don't know, I don't know what to say go ahead so let's 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 just talk about it so everybody that's here and you know um anyway the main show's at nine um the guest uh Ulysses Diaz he asked if he could come on next week because after fighting on Friday, he's also doing a marathon. So this guy is a total beast, man. Well, some people hustle, some people talk. Go ahead. Okay. So for some of the people that may be aware of the channel, um, you know, Jimmy and I are the founders of the Monty DeFaro channel, and we were happy enough to have this great family that comes in every Thursday, and we have this great producer, Bruce, and um, we're now in Tin Mirror Studios. Long story short... Um, we built a friendship with uh, Benny Scala, who is right. one half of Dan and Benny in the ring. And uh, Dan and Benny came on to the channel, right? We're trying to build entertainment for all of us every week. And, sure. you know, we love, sure. Dan, we love Dan and Benny. And, and then Phil, the president, um, he's, been, sure. he's been quite the gentleman. And he does a regular show. And then Bruce, who originally came on as a sponsor, that's ESO Creative, ESO has become a very close family member, and he Absolutely. he does whatever Absolutely. he can to help the show. He does. He um, does. We might as well just tell the story now, and then I'll have you go in. So Benny has a friendship with a guy named Joe Whataday Lowry. I don't know anything about him. Benny says, I think he'd be a fantastic addition. All right, Benny, right. Yeah, we totally go. Benny's, you know, we – we just want to give good product and some entertainment and laughs because life is hard enough for everybody. So he brings Joe Absolutely. Lowry on, and Joe uh, has a very significant resume, according to Joe, and he's uh, professionally trained, and he used to do radio back in the early 90s or whatever. I don't know the whole story. Okay. Never really made okay. contact with the guy, Bruce ESO, who – is a business owner and is quite the graphic artist among other things. Um, somehow Joe is bad. Welcome. Uh, Joe did not get along. He did not get along with Bruce right from the beginning. Don't know why. Again, I wasn't getting, I, don't invo- either. I wasn't getting involved. Um, right. Figured they, I work- wasn't either. Right. No, you weren't right. figured. They no. figured they'd work it out. And right. uh, then Joe became a little overbearing. So, I'm not fair. listen, this is Jimmy and I's channel, but um That's fair. Sometimes I'll take a lead on something and I had a discussion with Joe What a Day and I told him, Look, Bruce is a personal family member of ours and 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 not to mention a close friend. And whether you think that you're better than him and better than everybody else doesn't matter, right? Our friendships are much more important. So we thought we had put all this bullshit to bed. Um right. and then Joe was doing other shows, which I think you all saw, and Joe was kind of glomming the uh... – yeah, it's a shoot loose. Um, Joe was glomming all the time. Again, me and Jimmy really weren't on these shows, right? But the complaints were coming right. in from people in the channel. Um, right. And – Mike, if I can get this in quick, because, look, I want this to be accurate, okay? Sure, good. I per- I personally didn't know Joe before he came on the channel – 
And uh, after we came on the channel, I started getting texts like almost every morning, whether it was from, you know, one family member or another. You know, I was like, you know, and I'm trying to work just like you are. We got full time jobs. We got lives and everything like that. We got shit to do. And, and oh, by the way, by the way, of. he says no proof. Uh, what a day is on. So keep talking because, you know. I don't give a shit if what a day is on. What else is he needs some attention? He's on the chat. Congratulations. Welcome to the Monty and the Pharaoh show, Joe. You're welcome. All right. So anyway, look, and by the way, how am I supposed to stay in touch with a guy who's like, you know, completely slamming someone I've known for over 40 years? Which would be me. Which would be me. Show. Which would be me, right? Yeah. Shitting on the show. If the show was so bad, why were you always wanting to be on every day? Okay, if it was so bad, all right, your response that I saw on emails was uncalled for. Whatever was going on with you and Mike did not have to have to include f bombs and a holes and a whole bunch of other stuff. And you know, you probably should have been worried that you didn't hear back from me because the whole time I've been processing. All right, look, here's the deal: we have our channel. You're not on it anymore. Go do your own thing. Get the fuck off our chat. And do your own thing. Prove to yourself what you already think you are. Okay? You fucking put down everybody. I know this for a fact. And I also know that everybody was pissed off at you. And I used to hear it every day. I'm not interested in being your friend. I'm not interested in being your ally or your compadre. I'm not interested in any of it. All right, dude? I've been quiet. I've been nice. I've been cool. I'm done. All right? You're done. Do your thing, all right? And as far as our business goes, none of your business. None. So let all me right? let me let me let me carry on a few things so everybody else understands. So Jimmy, I'm sorry, I Joe, Jimmy, I I, pre hey. I appreciate it. But here's here's the situation. Again, I didn't really didn't care about Joe, didn't matter to me. Do I, I do whatever you want, do all your shows. So then Joe kept on putting on copyrighted stuff because Joe has a listening issue. So I would then reprimand Joe with everybody on there. Yes, I would send an email out. Thank you, Mitch. And I would say, hey, you're using copyrighted material like you do on your channel, using people's music, videos, etc." cetera. Can't so do that. You can't, can't do it, do right? That. We know no one knows better than us. Right. Oh, absolutely. Then he has yeah. the audacity to say that I made artwork of a fake YouTube showing a fake copyright, which was utterly ridiculous. So then again, Joe, you know, Joe has spent most of his time um, kissing Bill Apter's ass. Right. His mentor, a 58 year old yeah. as a mentor. Right. I'm sure he's his mentor. Right. Like, I'm sure so, the Mets are better than so the So Joe gets Go to ahead. do a sports Kedia thing with Vince Russo. Well, I don't know if everybody saw That's it cool. there. Right. Whatever. That's so, cool. So Whatever. then, so then, I don't care. But then Joe, no. but then Joe sends an email to everybody, and everybody was upset over it. Was that, hey man, I finally hit the big time. I, I'm, the, don't hold me to the exact words. Um, what? But, then he'll be happy to he'll be happy to take us along for the ride after he's been with us for how what a, a month? <laughs> Something stupid. Like it was listen, just dumb. Listen, listen, and let me say this to the chat because I really love the people who co come and watch the show every week. He also belittled you because there's not enough of you. Mm. He's decided he's decided that you know since you know when you're on the air with Vince Russo and you're on a channel that has how what a hundred whatever plus thousand subscribers that somehow. You know, now we're rinky dink. Okay? We did everything the real way and the hard way. We have now twice approached twenty thousand plus on two different channels, okay? Oh you we Jimmy, did everything Jimmy, the hard you, way. By the way, Jay Will, thank you, sir. Uh Jay Will gave us a little pop. Thank you so much. Uh I, but let me just say to the chat though, I gotta get this out. Guys, but, I'm sorry if I come across like a dick today. I don't mean to be, but but you guys really don't know what goes on behind the scenes here. Mm. And for well over I was, how long has he been on the channel with us? As long as it's been going on, I've had multiple family guys, you know, uh, be just, just texting me, complaining to me. And then I talk to you and I'm like, what's going on here? You know, listen, Joe, you got great ideas and you think you know everything about this business and you've got all the advice in the world for guys who've been doing this for seven years. And just because there's no Rolls Royce in my driveway means that we have a dark and dingy channel. Piss off. All right. Joe said, Joe says thing. you're lying. Joe says you're lying, Pharaoh. You're in lying. In what way am I lying?
Brian, Joe, and get the fuck off the chat. He didn't even listen. Get off the chat. He doesn't dude. listen. So here's the reality. What I, 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 I got, I'm I have, I have no problem. Thing. I have no problem with J- Joe. What a day, right? Then Jimmy calls me finally. No, I do now. No, no, I'm talking about before. Yeah. Jimmy calls me and says, you know what? I'm tired of him attacking Bruce. I'm tired of him talking shit about Benny. I want him off the channel, right? When Jimmy tells me something, then I got to get involved. So what do we do? We kick him off the channel. Then we have a conversation with him because he wants to come back on the channel. It was you, me, and him, right, Jimmy? And if right. he, he could have licked your balls any closer, like he could have licked on your balls any closer, I, you know. Mike, the reality is is that he didn't lick anybody's balls because he didn't listen to a word we said. No, he, he didn't. He just continued to be a bull in a china shop. Right. And it really was very disappointing because Joe does have some positive things about him, okay? So I see it as a blown what do you, what do you mean? On, what do you mean, on, that he has children he doesn't take care of? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, wow. I'm is sorry. That, is that just, is that, I, I, is that, no, is I, that, just, I don't know. If, I don't know. I, have you ever heard geez. him, have you ever heard him talk about his children? Let me go get a 10 foot pole so I don't have to touch this one. What are you? Holy shit. <laughs> so anyway, um, let's talk about this. So then, then he goes and does an interview with Gerard, who is pro Mel Phillips, right? Right. And he goes on to kind of uh, like make Gerard look really bad. Right, going out of his oh, way was, to make, and the problem with was, people on the channel, other than myself, other than you, was that right. he was trying to make our channel look bad. These are facts, okay? Right. He could talk about all the lying he wants. So then I had a personal conversation with him, and he went on to tell me that I wasn't dedicated enough to the channel, and I don't know what it takes to yeah. make it in this business. Right. This right. is this right. is a guy. Right. This is a right. guy who doesn't have a job. That's a fact. Right? Okay. Lives off his okay. girlfriend. Okay. That's a fact. Uh, okay. These are all facts, right? I'm not I'm not arguing them. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm listening. And, okay. he, and Go he's going he's going to tell me my dedication to the channel. I don't know. Uh, and then here's the ultimate thing which guys, you got to understand this. He keeps he he says to me, right? And I I would never have told Jimmy this cuz Jimmy would have lost his shit. Your commercials are terrible. Let a professional do them, right? And I said, don't right. worry about it. I don't need your help. So finally he begs enough, and we have a, a, a gym sponsor, and he does it. He then charges the channel for his commercial. Meanwhile, he's begging to come on to the Tony Gurria interview, and these are all facts, guys. I sent him an in, in invoice for $125 a question. If you're going to charge me for a commercial, I'm going to charge you for the interview. And he was totally taken aback from that because he doesn't even understand. Listen, here's the facts. I wouldn't even associate with this guy if it wasn't for my friend Benny who said bring him on, okay? And you know what? It's not Benny's fault. No. Right? He thought he knew not. the guy. And, again, it, there's not a clash between me and him. He means nothing to me. He's nobody. He's garbage. Who cares? Go back on your YouTube channel where no one's watching, and you know so much about the business. Go lick, you know, someone's ass and beg them to put you on Sportskedia, and that's it. And, again, if anybody else on the channel wants to go follow him, go follow him because he's so world. fucking entertaining. You know what I mean? Right. I mean, yeah, this is a guy yeah. that has an interview with a girl who's a comedian about sex, and the sex jokes are going over his head. I was laughing to myself. Fucking hack. He's a hack. Well, you know what? Let's just talk numbers, too, by the way. What you were charging him for was fair because Tony Gurria is not for free, and he wanted 15 minutes, and that was basically prorated 15 minutes worth of what it cost Tony Gurria. No wrestler is free, Okay. We reinvest in our channel. We mm. do the best we can. We're regular guys. We don't come from inside the business. Nope. We're not famous pro wrestlers. Nope. We're not famous announcers. Nope. We're we're not we're not connected to the business other than the fact that we're two guys who love pro wrestling. We turn around whatever money we can make on the channel and we put it right back into the product. In case you haven't noticed, Joe, we have a library with well over a hundred and there and there and there are a lot of big names and you know they are okay that takes investment that takes money okay now if you're going to give advice to two guys who you think are buying bots which is completely false that's disgusting because by the way 
Now, Mike, I hope you don't mind that I say this, but if Mike, if Mike wanted to be dishonest with the money that Mike makes in his real life, because Mike is very successful, we would have about a quarter of a million subscribers right now Thank and you. views through bots. Thank okay? You. Thank you. And I know for a fact that Mike is not doing that because I know that Mike would do that if he was a prick. Mm -hmm. All right. He is not a prick. All right. What you're describing is somebody that you had a conflict with because you decided your channel, which happens to be older than ours by quite a bit, with your 534 subscribers, you decided to tell (laughs) two guys who were happy to have you on the channel, who wanted you to contribute and not make a ton of noise or give us a ton of advice. Mm -hmm. Benny doesn't. You know how long Dan and Benny been doing this? You know how many episodes they've cut? Phil, who has goes back to the days of Boston wrestling, who, despite what some people may think, we respected Marathi's channel. Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. He did a good job. Absolutely. Okay, he worked hard at it. He invested back in his product. Maybe he wasn't so nice to some of the wrestlers, but he invested back in his product. He was a regular guy who loved pro wrestling and built his machine. Okay? Bots? Sorry, bro. Fuck you. That's a, that is so fucking insulting to me, Okay. All right, it's the bottom line. And I wasn't going to have this conversation with you on the phone. You want to play these fucking games? I don't play these fucking games, okay? You're getting the pharaoh now. You're getting the real deal, all right? I haven't accused you of anything here. Everything that I have said so far is accurate. I got calls every morning. Every damn Hold morning. Hold on, I got to gotta, I gotta say something. Joe says Mike is not well, needs help. Mental Health Awareness Month. Again, from what I understand, Joe, you went and hid and disappeared for two years because I don't know what kind of addictions you even, had, right? But no, I'm care. saying I, it. I'm saying it. Right. Okay, that's we his, all, that's again, deal. doesn't take care of his kids, disappeared for two years. And listen, dude, you know what? He's a nobody. I don't care. Here's the facts. We just wanted to bring on entertainment. We thought there was value right. there. He ended right. up being a clown, and that's it. And if he expects to get, you know, Benny – we know we've known Benny a long time. Benny, yeah. a, a pretty long time. He's a, he's the sweetest pie, man. He doesn't want to hurt anybody's feelings. Good he soul. doesn't want the soul. drama. Phil, he doesn't want. Good, by the, by the and way, Phil, by Benny the way, he doesn't good, want drama either. Phil's a good soul. Benny's a good soul. Bruce is a very good soul. Absolutely, too. they're all good. Pe- they're all good people. Absolutely, and they're not filled. They're not filled with overbearing advice. If there's anything I can't stand, it's like I didn't get where I am today. Bye. Where where are you? What do you mean? Why are you shoving your opinion down our throat? Why do you have to headbutt, you know? You know what Mike needs help over? Mike needs help over having to deal with the fact that he served this country so someone like you could just give him hell. What is wrong with you? Here's the reality. I want to give a shout-out to Maria Davis. Maria Davis was invited by Joe onto his channel, right? Right, Maria? You you hear me out there, okay? This was Joe, Joe trying to get people to swing over to his channel. He never... He never wanted to really help this channel. He wanted to get himself over. Okay. And you know Mitch what? Mitch Seinfeld's you know ass is Joe I on SSI. Mike, he might be. He might be. Mike, I heard that every morning from the guys. I heard it every morning for quite a while. But Joe doesn't like, believe you, know, you. Joe thinks that's a lie. Okay. Well, Joe, I hate to I hate to break it to you, and I don't mean to put others under the bus. But you know what? I think that they're man enough to say to you, what did you become? Okay, what did you become? All right, because I am telling you, wait, hold on. They said it to me. They said it to me almost every morning for weeks. All right, do I look like I'm fucking lying, bro? Would I come on the air and do this? Would I? Nope. Really? You really think I'm lying? I'm not lying, dude. And you might find that to be shocking, but here's a little thing that might help you out in the future. In this business, everybody is working everybody, even your friends. All right. Our friend Foxhole Willie says, Joe, what a day, all every day, Lowry, all flush, all fluff. No substance. Again, we, no, weren't even, we weren't even going to talk about this, dude, but I don't know. No, it's my. It's actually my fault because, you know what, it's been burning at me. I don't know. Look, life is hard enough, and it's hard enough to do the hard work we've put into this, mm. and I can't even mm. begin to say how much I love all the people that are in the chat every week and how much I appreciate the fact that they get what we're trying to do, okay? We're not trying to be like everybody else. We're not ESPN. We absolutely are different, and we're proud of it. 
We want to be unique. Our commercials fit our show. Now, you may not realize that, but I know for a fact that they do fit our show. Okay? Jimmy, I got to take a dump. What is loved? I've had multiple people tell me that multiple times, okay? The Maven commercial is fantastic, and it's all organic. And maybe that's what drives you crazy, is, is that we don't have to practice in anything. We just let the light go on, and here's the big key, we're ourselves, mm. okay? We didn't read it in a book. We didn't see it in a, in a tutorial video. We're ourselves, all right? Now, look, and let me just get this in my... And by, and by, wait a minute, hold on. And by the way, since Joe's the yeah. subject, this is the most people that ever ever cared what Joe thought is his entire life. So congratulations, Joe. You, you finally made it somewhere, buddy. But go ahead. Wow, I can blame myself for, for starting this, too. Ugh, unbelievable. Hey, Luce, you're right. You're right. Missy Beefer, she knows Joe. And boy, does she tear him apart to me on a right. Ra- I talk to Missy almost every day. Haven't I talked got, to her gotta, last week. She I, knows Joe, and she tears him apart I, on a I, regular basis. I got I to gotta be honest, because, Mike, you know I'm not a bad dude. I don't wish ill will on anybody. I have to admit that when Missy tore him apart on the show, I was actually upset for Joe. Was I surprised? Not at all, man, because <laughs> this is wrestling. Everybody works everybody. I wasn't surprised at all. But I was disappointed for Joe. So, Joe, just in case you think I really don't give a shit about you as a human being, that's not the case, man. I just, you, you said a lot of things, you butted a lot of heads, and you pissed me off. I'm, I'm sorry. There's really no other right. way around can it, I, you can, know? You know what? You're 100% right. Can I say what I have to say about Joe? Joe, sure. I did not dislike you, bro. I felt bad for you, bro. No, seriously. You you you, you don't have a job. You, you you, you, you're living off your, – you're a kept man. I mean, that's tough in itself. Imagine sitting at home and not being able to – do like, you don't even have your own cell phone. You have to share your girlfriend's cell phone because I guess she doesn't trust you with money. And I felt really bad for you. So when we gave you the opportunity to come to this channel, we're like, oh, finally Joe gets the – you know, all that money he spent at the uh, Connecticut School of Broadcasting, finally he's going to come to some kind of, you know, fruition. And – Man, oh man, oh man, Joe, it just didn't work out. But I feel bad for you, bro. You know, it's like now you are you go do your Centerville stuff, and you know what he does really good? He loves to pay for cameos. He must go into the girlfriend's wallet, get a credit card, give Charlotte... <laughs> Abe's left. Give Charlotte Flair a thousand dollars to do what a day Joe videos that only get Charlotte Flair now the top women's wrestler in the history of wrestling garnered a whole two hundred and twenty two views in three years because that's a that's worth a thousand dollars I think right you know but listen Jimmy you're right you do you are a nice guy you don't you you feel bad for Joe I do too I feel bad that this guy's a fucking loser and I feel bad that. You know, I got mad at him. You know, he's got my emails from him. And, you know, I, I, I basically told him, stop being a jerk off. Right? Right. Stop poking right. the bear. Right? Because right. that's what you were doing. You were poking the bear. What's up, Stevie? You were poking the bear. Well, you got the bear. You poked me and you got the bear. And keep poking me and then I'm going to poke someone else that's close to you for real. And then you'll really have nothing. Then you'll be living in a fucking cardboard box. With a what a day Joe magic marker on it saying, What a give me a dollar, please, for food. Is that it, Jimmy? Well, I can't I can't top that. I mean, you want me to top that? I mean, what are you gonna put on the box? What a carton? <laughs> I, I, I mean, hey, look, at least I Don Rickles did, right? Don't get that man out there in T V land. Hello out there in T V land. I again, again, I, I honestly do feel bad for the guy. But you know what? It's over. It's all over now. It's done. And Maria, back to you, just so I could share with you. He brought you on the show because he thought that you would come over and start going to his show. And then he could get you know, RJ and Jay Will and Loose, you know. Um, he tried to embarrass me towards the, the Stan Hansen interview. I think Jay Will, right? You asked a question and he's like, Mike! He says a question. Ask him the question in the middle Mike, of the Mike, show. Mike, 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 Mike. I want to make sure that this is clear because you're you, you're telling me that while you're doing a live interview, mm. a member of the family 
got on the chat and berated you for not asking the question right away. That when is correct. You know your you know your timing. Thank you. Thank I'm, you. I'm sure it's I'm sure you were gonna get that question in, obviously, but you don't just drop the conversation that you're having with the wrestler to do that. No. That's abrasive. No. That doesn't let the conversation breathe. Right? <laughs> I remember we were doing an interview, Jimmy, where early on trying to get, and we we're having internet problems. I think we yeah. lost a guest or something. And he texts me on the phone. He goes, you and Jimmy are struggling. Let a pro in there to help you guys through this. He said, <laughs> yes. He said, yes. He said, let a, let let a, a pro? pro come in and help you. Oh, you know what? You know who really needs help? The two guys that Lanny Poffo rest his soul. Stopped in the middle of the interview, paused, thought deeply, and was like, you know what? This is a great interview. This is a great interview. Yeah, I, I need help because, after all, Ken Patera in private was like, you remind me so much of Bobby the Brain. You're hilarious. Mm. I I need help. I clearly need no, help. No, you're lying. You're lying. I'm telling you. Joe, you Joe says you're lying. You're lying. You're not telling the truth. What? You're lying. What am I lying about? That's what Joe says. You're a liar. I don't know what to Interesting. say. Interesting. You're well, a you know liar. What? Sand, sand, Sandman thinks that I got good weed. I guess I'm lying lies. about that, too. More lies. More lies. What are you, you going to do? What are you going to do? How about when you know? Sabu broke down crying and we had a massive hug for five minutes? Remember that one? Sabu's a great guy, man. He's a great guy. You, you, know, what you, know? The, you know what the problem is? We don't say enough yups and ums during, like, when guys are talking, uh-huh, uh-huh. Listen to one of his interviews, guys. Go back and give him a couple of views and listen to him go like this. Uh-huh, uh-huh, yup, yup, uh-huh, uh-huh, yup. I mean, that Connecticut School of Broadcasting, don't put that guy as your advertisement, man, because ain't no one going to go pay for that kind of schooling. Do you think okay. they taught him that? Okay, sit down. When you're interviewing someone, make sure that they know you're listening by saying yup and uh-huh. Let's try it, Jimmy. So, Jimmy, where were you born? Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, uh-huh. Okay. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah. Um, I just can't believe that we spent almost I know. 40 minutes on this fucking clown. I know. It's my fault. It's actually my fault. But you know what? Here's the deal. You know, after tonight uh-huh. when the light goes off, that's, yep. that's a done deal. Uh-huh. Whatever. Yep. Right. Uh-huh. Exactly. Yep. Mike, you're so engaging. Uh-huh. You're so engaging. Yep. I'm, this is a gripping conversation. Uh-huh. <laughs> yep. 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 <laughs> yep. <laughs> Jimmy, okay. I love you, man. You know what? Uh, I love you too. You know what? Yeah. I don't care how many bots watch us. I love you. <laughs> I love the Monty and the Pharaoh show. I am warning, a bot. Warning. I am a bot. I am a bot. Oh, and by the way, everybody, so you know out there that Joe also got paid for doing shows, right? We paid him for all. So there's analytics, and you get paid for views. So I paid him for the views since he's been on the channel. He made himself twenty dollars. R.J. Yes, Hudson says, Monty, yeah. when did you become as bad as Hannibal? Oh, R.J., that's so hurtful. Uh-huh. Wait a minute, R.J., I'll be right back. I got to do a Hannibal. I'm, I'm feeling sleepy. Uh-huh. Hold on. Oh. Lou says, a bot with good comedic timing. There you go. Dude, there you go. That comedian that he was interviewing was, was really wanted to get into some of the down and dirty stuff, and he's like, what do you mean? What what's a penis? <laughs> oh no. All right. We're you know, we're out of gas with this guy already, man. Oh yeah, my god. Yeah. Yeah. Put put the car out of its misery. All right, let's go through some wrestling real quick to before scrap, we get Pete. to the main show. Anyway, we sure. wish listen, everybody, we wish uh Joe What a Day Lowry the best. That's in summer. <laughs> the best. We hope the best by by fair um you know, go uh uh-uh. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, we wish you the best, and we hope that people come over to your, your engaging and, and much enjoyable programming that you do every every day. Um, Joe likes yeah. to read the dirt sheets and then post on it like it's his news, you know? Mike, did you, did you ever wonder why I never picked up the phone to call him to give him some advice? Did you ever wonder why? Why? Because I knew he wasn't going to listen. I already, I, I, you know what? But I Jimmy, you're not a you... professional. Why would he listen to you to begin with? He's well, a yeah, pro, you're right. bro. You're right about that. 
you're right about that. I didn't go to the Connecticut School of Broadcasting. Do you understand? We have a, me and we, me and Mad Dog Russo. We didn't go to we didn't go to broadcasting school. I'm okay with that. We have a, okay we have a video. We have a video. Yeah. And he's like, "That's a terrible video. You should do what I did with Charlotte Flair." Hold on, Joe wrote ESO. What? Hey there, Mike told me last week to give you my PayPal address for payment for February. It's for thirty-five dollars. Here's my PayPal. So Mike throws you under the bus, and you're okay with that? I have all the what? emails and legal documentation. He thinks I'm throwing Bruce under the bus. It's, okay. It's like legal documentation. What kind of legal documentation do you have? I need to understand what to, legal co- a, documentation is. I, I heard it's a 63-page document. Is that true? It could be. It could be. It could there be. You no, there on you a go. serious note, way, what is a legal document? An email? I, In fact, you know what the funny thing is, Jimmy? Isn't Benny... ESO, Phil, Dan, and yourself on every response that I sent them? Yeah. So was yeah. I hiding anything? No. When I called him a I friggin' moron, I... it was to everybody. Right. The whole time. The, the whole, whole time. time. There was no private. Yeah, whole... He tried to email whole... me privately, but I wasn't going to go for that, right? Right. I mean, I wanted right. everybody to understand that I thought he was a fucking moron. Right. Fair enough. Fair yeah. enough. Anyway, again... All I know is the story that Missy Beefcake said is that he came over. He wanted Brutus to give him a shout-out. Missy Beefcake told him $70. He ran off, got his credit card from his girlfriend, came back. She cashed in the credit card, and Beefer did a, did a, did a, a shoot for him. Right. Right. Oh, and by the way, yeah. Jimmy, how long did we have to hear that Missy Beefcake knew his name from high school? How long did that? How many months did we have to listen to that? That was the big joke um, between us all, right? What a moron. He he right. really was uh, crazy about it. And after all of that, all it took was one question to Missy Beefcake, and she buried him like a box, like a pine box, you know? I mean, you didn't learn anything Did you really from that? feel bad? You felt bad, huh? What bother, What bothers me is he didn't learn anything from that. How do you not learn anything from that? I mean, for God's sakes, you got, you know, for a guy who claims that he knows the business, you don't. You obviously don't. Okay. Right, hold on. I got to ask a question. Luce wrote that Missy stuff was uber cringe. Was it uber cringe the way she was talking about him, Luce, or was it just uber cringe in overall? That's what I want to know. RJ Hudson says, what a day's biggest mistake is how he, he diff. How is he different other than that he reads news, which isn't different? That's what he does. He reads right. news and takes people's music and takes their videos and posts them like his own. And how many copyright right. strikes did we get that I had to start screaming at him? Everybody was there. Oh, Luce says the way he kept bringing it up. Luce, exactly. We used to all be like, when is he going to shut up? I remember the next show after the Missy Beefcake interview, Jimmy, he was yeah. on there, and he had to play it for the group, and they're all shaking their head. That's Bruce. That's Phil. That's ESO. They're like, is this right. guy a fucking right. jackass? Right. One last, one last thing. Joe, if you, if you think that everything that's happening right now and our response to you right now, that you are 0% at fault, you gotta tur- you got to turn your laptop off and just go think for a while, okay? Because you are not free of blame. Not even close. No, he what I is. Said no, was, uh, you know what? I get, he is to blame. He is to blame from I shadow said. boxing the channel. He is to blame for attacking Bruce from the start. He is the I, shame for at. talking trash about everybody. Okay? Right. Okay. Right. Let me make it clear out there so everybody understands something. Now, I've said this to Jimmy, and I've said it to Benny, and I've said it to Bruce and everything else. Joe thinks he's a professional, and Joe had a a professional respect for Jimmy and a professional respect for Dan, okay? He just did. He thought they were high-level, you know, presenters or uh, talent, for lack of a better word, right? All right. But he thought I was a hack. He thought Phil was a hack. He thought Bruce was a hack, and he thought thought, – Benny was a hack. Phil, I don't know if he thought you were a hack. I, that's the, probably an unfair comment. I'm trying to give the truth right here, okay? Right. These are the facts, okay? And here's the deal. He was a very self-centered human being. And, again, it didn't matter to me. Put your programming on. 
if you get more views for the channel, it's good. I'm happy. More views right. means that we're building the channel. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Unfortunately, everything he did, he did got us he nothing. Not. He did not. He did not bring big numbers at all. Not even close. And that was, that's another thing. It's like, you're really going to keep telling us how we should do stuff? Bro, you completely took a shit on us. You didn't even realize it. And we even had a phone call with you trying to nicely say, You're taking a shit down. on us. Yeah, slow down and take slow a break. Slow down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Slow the fuck down. What the fuck are you doing? And instead of realizing it and... and do you, remember, do you remember when we brought up? Remember when we brought up the email to him? How he tried to play stupid. Oh, I'm really right. surprised. I didn't know the right. email was it. I thought it was going to be something else. He was licking balls bigger than uh, whatever, right. dude. Right, right. Well, wait a minute. Jay I Will says. Jay Will says you guys have very good broadcasting skill. In my line of work, some of the best people don't have formal training. Jay, that means a lot to us, really. It does. Thank you, Jay. You know, appreciate look, that. Yeah. At, at no point do I think I'm a pro. Uh, I don't think Jimmy thinks he's a pro. But you know what? On on a, on a partnership level, I find, and I think everybody finds Jimmy very entertaining. Jimmy has a a, a, a certain niche for this. And I'll be honest with you, I think uh, as as a pair, we do pretty well together. Obviously, by the yeah. success of the show, right? Again. We all yeah, have our strengths and weaknesses right. in life. But again, I'm letting a nobody get in my head, and that's what I'm trying to avoid, right? I right. I don't need a nobody in my head. I got enough somebodies in my head. I don't need right. nobodies. And, right. this, and this is a competition. It is. Phil, you know? Phil, Phil this- says he's Switzerland. Of course you are, Phil. Phil, you're a Switzerland as in – there's a race between you and Benny who's more Switzerland. You know what I'm saying? Oh no! That now. Wait a minute. Now Phil's winning that one. What are you talking about? I don't know, man. If you call Benny up, you call him and you tell him the sky's red. He'll go, Jimmy. Yeah, that's right. The sky's red. And then I'll call him right after and say the sky's purple. Benny will go, hey, Yeah, it's purple. Not necess- Not not necessarily. I think that Benny has plenty of his. Look, Benny has a spine. Okay, that's what I'm I'm trying to get at here. Benny has a spinal cord. He's a good human being. <laughs> He's a good guy. And, and that's what I'm saying. I'm not saying if I say the sky's red. What am I, Charles Manson? <laughs> Benny, the sky's red, right? Yes. No. Yes, Farrell. No. It is. No, uh... no, no. You stop that. <laughs> oh, my God. That's horrible. You know? And Phil's not Switzerland. I'll tell you what Phil is. Phil's a genius. He is a genius. Okay? He is a genius. He's a genius. I was about to say the same stays- thing. He stays the hell out of the getting dragged into sixth grader games. But he now a- I'll admit, I'll admit, I I couldn't help it. I it's my fault that we started but this conversation. Minute. Just like anything else, Jimmy, we you know? all have roles, right? So Phil's right. the get along guy. Bruce is yeah. kind of like uh, like uh, the lovable. in the background, lovable little teddy bear. Benny is I like Benny is like the ear. He'll listen to what everybody's got to say. Yeah. Dan's on his yeah. own. Dan's on his own planet. Um, right, with you're, his cats. You're, 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 you're kind of like the puppet master in a lot of ways, right? And, I'm and the I'm, puppet master, and I'm the executioner, right? I, my yeah, role is yeah, the executioner, yeah. right? The judge, jury, and yeah. executioner. So to end yeah. this show, and we'll see everybody at nine o'clock. Joe, what a day! <laughs> You've been executed by me, and it's not over yet. And you know what I'm talking about. I don't think you'll have a channel in a couple of days, but we'll see you later. Best of luck, Joe. Jimmy, send us out. We'll see you guys on the main show. We love you all. You've been watching what was supposed to be this week in wrestling. What a show! Later.